Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we are visiting Camp Margaritaville RV Resort and Lodge in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Margaritaville has invited us out to their grand opening ceremony. I think they have put some last minute touches on a couple of things and they mm -hmm. are finally fully open. So we are gonna be doing a full resort tour and review, including the RV portion of the resort. And we're gonna be taking you guys along with us, so stay tuned. So if you'd like to join us, let's go. Camp Margaritaville opened as an RV camp in June of 2021. As time has passed, they have added a lodge and other awesome amenities. This week's grand opening celebration is the finale of hard work to open a cohesive resort with upscale amenities in addition to the original RV camp. Note that check-in time for the lodge is at 4 p.m. and check-out is at 11 a.m. You do have to be at least 21 years old to check into a room. Check-in time for all RV sites is 2 p.m. and check-out is also at 11. So now that we have arrived at the lodge, let's check in and take a look around the resort. So make sure that before you park your car, definitely be sure to put your parking permit in your car so you don't get towed. All right, so we're headed to find our room and we are on the second floor. So we have to take the elevator and she did remind us at the front desk that we have to use our key card to get into the elevator. So I'm gonna hand this off to Seth. And look at that, they must be pet friendly. That's awesome. All right, guys, we found our room. Let's head inside and check it out. All right, guys, so we have made it to our room. I believe this is a king room, maybe a suite of some sort. I say that because right here to the right of the entrance, we do have a little private room with two twin beds, nightstand, and we have a little television there. So we're gonna go right back out here past our kitchen. Comes equipped with the microwave, coffee maker, and our refrigerator little mini fridge there so let's check out what's in the closet got your standard items here your iron ironing board little laundry bag there for you and then here we have the bathroom looks like this one is going to be a stand-up shower very very roomy for sure and let's see, it looks like they do provide you with the shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel there. Let's keep going and looking around. Looks like here we have a very, very bright vanity mirror. So if you forgot your lighted makeup mirror, you'll definitely be in luck. Looks like they even provide us, I think those may be pool towels. Looks like it. But this is a very beautiful bathroom and entryway. So let's keep going. And look at our humongous king bed. It looks awesome. And we have the two nightstands on each side. And of course, the <laughs> uh, cutesy little saying up top, living for the weekend. And over here, of course, since this is also an RV lodge, we do have some camping decor as well. This looks like some little travel pillows there with some uh, travel themed artwork on there as well as the Great Smoky Mountain artwork over here, which is awesome, next to our little breakfast table. And then lastly, right over here, we do have a view of the Lazy River, and of course the Great Smoky Mountains right in the background. So this is definitely a beautiful room. Haven't seen all of the resort yet, of course, but so far <laughs> it's been awesome. I'm, I'm really surprised at how much attention to detail they actually put in the lodge part, since I assumed this was mainly for the RV portion. But it is awesome so far. I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the resort. So that's where we're headed now. And one last look at this room, guys. Did want to show you guys one really cute thing, which keeps on the theme of the camping for the RV lodge. These beds are actually zip up, just like a sleeping bag. So they really do keep on theme, as well as you can do the room separating. And so it's going to show you that now. So if you have some kiddos or extra people with you, you can definitely have some privacy. So right here in the lobby, right across from the check-in desk is the Finn's Bar and Chill, which is their bar and grill. So here's a quick look at the menu. They do have appetizer, appetizers, handhelds, salads, entrees, pizzas, and some different things like, uh, of course they have <laughs> a pretty extensive alcoholic menu. So I think Seth and I are gonna try this out now. But I think we're gonna go right over here this way to where it says 
the Finn's Bar and Chill, maybe to place an order. So there is a hostess up front, but you um, can also order the food and the drinks from the bar, which is what I think Seth and I are going to do. And I did ask, you are allowed to carry your alcoholic beverages all around the property. Of course, stay on property with those though. So I'm sure it'd be an awesome idea to grab a drink and head out to the pool. So here is my Fins Up Margarita. This is a variation of a drink that I've gotten before. And here it says Land Shark. That's typically what he goes with. I think we're gonna order some food now as well. So I'm gonna get the Fins Burger and Seth got a pizza. Which pizza did you get? Frank's Pizza. Frank's Pizza. So we've got that in our drinks. We'll let you guys know what we think in just a bit. So here is my Finn's Burger and Seth's Frank's Pizza. We're gonna dig into these. We'll let you guys know what we think in a moment. You guys don't know if you can see that up there, but they do have some Old Smoky Moonshine on the menu. So I'm sure they can mix that in some cocktails and make you some drinks with the moonshine. If you guys wanna know anything about the Old Smoky Moonshine, Seth and I did a review of the Gatlinburg location. Be sure to check that video out after this video. All right, guys, so quick review of the Finn's Bar and Chill restaurant and bar. So I got um, one of the classic drinks I usually get. Sometimes it's called Fins to the left, sometimes it's called Shark Fins, but um, that's what I got. It is very strong, but it is pretty good. I think it's like a variation somewhat mm -hmm. of a margarita, um, but it's delicious. I also got the Finn's Burger. I've never heard of that on any other menu. Yeah. Or maybe if I have, I've just looked over it, but it had grilled red onions on it and it was delicious. Um, they said it came with like a Big Mac sauce, I'm not really a fan of that, so I omitted that, but it was delicious. I would highly recommend it. It was a huge burger. I didn't even finish half of it. Um, came with fries and um, pretty reasonably priced, but what did you get? I got the pizza. It was pretty much like a meat lover's style pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, it was actually pretty good. And like the, a personal size. Yeah, yeah, and the sauce that come on it was really good, the marinara yeah. sauce. And you got the classic, the land shark. Yeah, I was like getting that when we come to like either the Margarita yeah. Rural Restaurant or yeah. like we stayed at the other resorts. And they ask you if you want it loaded. I think, what is it they put in there? They put the like shot of yeah something. the Margaritaville wine yeah tequila yeah tequila um, that they make in there but Seth uh, usually doesn't yeah. go for that but you can get that as an option um, but we're gonna keep walking around the resort and show you guys some more sites so next stop is gonna be Finn City Entertainment Center as you can see it's on the lower level just right across from the lobby the stairs on either side so that's where we're headed now. So we are downstairs now. There's a lot to see down here. As you can see, there's a game station. You can just see the attendant to set up whatever game you would like. We have an arcade over here to our right. Looks like there is a shuffleboard set up over here. And let's see what else we have. We have some just some tables set up if you'd like. A huge foosball table. Looks like with the purpose of sitting your drink on there as well. Looks like we have an activity center, the reception over there with, looks like some merch maybe, and that's probably where you go to get some of the activities for the games and such. There's also a fireplace over here. Let's keep going and see if we can find anything else. So here next to the game center to the right of the stairs is the little um, signage here. As you can see, the Feeding Frenzy Snack and Bar is this way. Here's a quick look at the menu down here. It looks like they also have bites, handhelds, pizza, and beverages. And it looks like here's where you order some of your food. And oh my gosh, they have a refill cup. That is awesome. So if you're going to be here for an extended period of time, you can get the unlimited refills all day. There's a look at the prices there. And it looks like you can get quite a few snack items. They even have an ice cream bar. That is awesome. With a brownie, a clear cookie sandwich, Heath bar, a lot of good stuff on there. And I see some nachos back there as well. Let's see what else they have. Looks like here's probably where you activate your refill cups, right over here next to the condiment station. And I think over here is our bar. So this bar does only have your beers, wines, nothing that is liquor based, but they do have the pre-mixed drinks right over there. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but this is an option if you're looking for a bar stop as well. And over here next to the little reception desk, it looks like they have a card table. So bring some cards down here, or maybe the reception desk has some. You can play some cards and have some fun. And right next to the card table is the billiards room. So in here, it looks like they have some billiard tables. Ooh, four it looks like, so you don't even have to wait. 
but they are the type of billiards where you do have to use the arcade card to pay for those. It looks like they have a TV in here, some bar stools, and they also have, it looks like a dartboard right over there. And again, just like the games on the outside over there, to see the attendant to pick up the darts to play the dartboard. So right here to one of the exits of the Fin City Arcade, we have the activities room and the entrance to the outside of, uh, for the Lazy River, I should say. But the activities room actually looks pretty cool. It looks like they have activities probably, you know, pardon the name <laughs> there. Um, but just an example, ceramic painting is Wednesday at 1030. That's a great example of some of the activities they hold here. So if you're interested, just ask the front desk. And as you come down the stairs, to the right is the Finn City Arcade. So I'll walk in here and see what they've got. So this arcade is like many new modern arcades. They use cards that you can purchase and here's the deals that they currently have. So the more money you spend, the more money you kind of get on your card that you can play for each of the games here. So here's a little more information on the Finn City Entertainment Center. There's the hours that they're open, but it goes into depth a little bit on what the billiards, darts, the retro games, which we saw the NES Mini and the duck pin bowling, and all those prices. They've got a fun hour where you can get a discount 50% off or buy one, get one. That's really cool. So here's the duck pin bowling over here, and it is on the left as you come down the stairs. So it's like they got four lanes here, and there it is. So we are gonna try the duck pin bowling and it is located just in this little room here. We have some seats, the nice Camp Margaritaville logo right there. And I guess we just get to pick our lane. So the prices for this, as you guys seen, it was $6. We did come during the happy hour before two o'clock. So it was $6, which was half off. So it was only around $13 with tax for both of us. And look who we ran into, Seth. It's Butch from Hanging with the Crazy Crew. He's here playing the duck pin bowling with us. He's also going to be at the opening ceremony tonight. And I think we just might beat him. We're trying our hardest. Got a good chance. Yeah. I'm, I'm building up his confidence. I think he's really doing something right now. Yeah, That's what yeah. I'm doing. We're just watching here in the background. But guys, be sure to check out his channel. He will have a very similar resort Glad review, to similar to ours, coming soon. So his uh, channel link will be in the description. Thank you. guys so here are our scores Seth beat us he was at 112 I had 89 Butch had 93 and Sandra had 86 so I didn't come in last but I did not win so my heart is broken did he cheat oh yeah maybe so but we're gonna see these guys later at the grand opening party. But that was a great little workout. I think now it's time for maybe a snack or something. That's right, that's right. So we'll see you guys in a bit. So the hostess stand for breakfast is right here. So all you have to do is come up and she'll seat you immediately. So we're gonna check out the breakfast buffet this morning. So here's a quick look at the breakfast buffet. Over here we have some sweet treats like some danishes and muffins. We also have the fresh French toast here along with some syrup and toppings that also pair really well with the pancakes. And then we have your breads, bagels, things like that next to the toaster. And we have some toppings right over there for a parfait or a yogurt. And it looks like over here we have some cheeses and fruits. And then we have some of the more hot items like your biscuits, potatoes, bacon, and things like that. And then right to the left we do have our drink bar which also has some orange juice, milk, fresh coffee over there. And we also have a cereal bar here with some ready to make oatmeal. So Seth and I are gonna grab our plates and we'll let you guys know what we think once we sit down. So here is our first spread. I got the potatoes and a gravy biscuit. Seth got a little bit of the same. He just added in the quiche and some bacon. So we'll let you guys know what we think in just a bit. 
All right, second round, I'm gonna go with some of the French toast. And Seth's gonna go with one of the, looks like danishes, I mm -hmm. believe. So we'll give you guys the full review of our entire meal once we get done. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you a quick review of our breakfast at um, the restaurant downstairs. So they do a breakfast buffet style. It is, I'd say, on a little bit of a higher level than a traditional continental breakfast um, that you may find like a chain hotel. So the $10 is more than reasonable. Yep. Yeah. Um, they had plenty of options. I got the gravy biscuit, some potatoes, some French toast. Seth got the same with some bacon added and some of the like little dessert type of options like the pastries mm -hmm. and everything was delicious. Um, again, not necessarily anything to drive home about, but it's a really good option if you want something for breakfast that's a little bit, like I said, higher than that, I guess, traditional continental breakfast style. Um, but I assume everything you got was good. Yeah, yeah, it tasted good, uh, especially, yeah, it, it's buffet, like you are saying. It's mm -hmm. it's not like it's a made-to-order type breakfast, yeah. but, I mean, for 10 bucks, that's... It's hard to That's beat. Perfect. Yeah, we definitely ate, I know, at least ten dollars worth yeah. of food. Um, there was still a waitress there, the tape that was you know, taking care of us, asked us if we needed anything else, needed any drinks, anything like that. So um that was really helpful. Um, I think that um if you're here you should definitely try it out at least one day. You're mm -hmm. probably not gonna find breakfast that cheap especially if you're staying here in Pigeon Forge. So that's definitely a good option. Um, so now we're gonna keep walking around the resort and take you guys with us. So right next to the Finn's Bar and Grill is the Camp Provisions, which I believe is just the like Margaritaville merchandise store. So let's go and check some of the merchandise out. So they do have some little quick service options like some grab and go items, including some alcoholic beverages. They also have a s'mores kit because there is a fire pit um, outside. We also have some specific Camp Margaritaville merchandise from shot glasses and coffee mugs to different sorts of tumblers here. And they also have a coffee bar in here. Pretty sure this is really similar to the Margaritaville that we stayed in, still here in Pigeon Forge, but at the island. So it looks like they've got hot, cold drinks, smoothies, and grab and go items. It actually looks like some of the same menu as the bar just as that's right next to us. But let's see what else they have. Some other grab and go items and apparently you can get some uh, <laughs> some shots in your coffee which is awesome. Of course this is Margaritaville so that's very fitting. And I love these shirts. I'm a sucker for a good navy t-shirt. So that is awesome. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Oh, excuse me, that was the back. The front just says Margaritaville. So if you want something specific to this resort, you can get it here. And it looks like they also have beach towels, basically anything you could think of, even stuff for your RV hookups, anything like that they have in here. So if you didn't come prepared, just stop by the Camp Provision store and grab what you need. So also next to the Finn's Bar and Chill, or Bar and Grill, we have the little outside seating area here. It's a little overcast today, but you guys can still see that it's very nice. If you wanna chill out, maybe play some cornhole. You can do that. Maybe grab a drink, come out here and enjoy the weather. You can do that. And you're super, super close <laughs> to the bar still. And we are right outside of the resort just doing some exploration. And this does say that this little um, travel trailer actually belonged to Jimmy Buffett. It was a gift from him to the resort. So this would be a great photo spot if you wanted to come outside right when you get here and have the whole resort in the background with the trailer that belonged to Jimmy himself. We also have the pickleball courts just right here next to the parking lot and right in front of the resort here. It looks like the gate's already open. So that's an option if you're looking for something to do around the resort. And we have a little dog park space here as well. So if you bring your furry friends, they can have somewhere to roam. So to get to the dog park, just follow the sign all the way straight back over there to where that gated fence is. And you can take your dogs or your pets in for a walk. We also have some bicycle parking here, of course. And I think we're going to head over here and check out some of the RV spaces. So here is an example of an empty RV space. We have the little Margaritaville seal here. Pretty big little open space here. It looks like everyone has their own fire pit. 
their own picnic table and of course the hookups that you need. So as you can see, here's some examples of some other people that have parked who are utilizing those, but everybody gets their own little setup, which is really nice. So right over here to the right of the actual lodging portion of the resort, we have the RV check-in. So if you're checking in for your stay, just head on up to this booth. And a little farther up from the check-in booth is the bathhouse. Not sure if we can go in there, but if we can, we'll try. But just know that it is here. So it looks like in here, there's a couple of laundry machines. So if you're here and you need to do some laundry, you can feel free. And then over here to the right is just the actual bathhouse portion of the RV lodge. And then to the right of the wash house and laundry, we have a little covered area here, like a picnic area with some Jenga blocks. And we also have a little playground over here, which looks really nice. So this is about the extent of the RV portion. I think we went pretty far back to about the end of it. This is really nice. So if um, camping or traveling in an RV is your style, I think this will definitely be a place to check out. And right up there, kind of near the end of one of the driveways is another picnic area. So there's probably several that we missed, but just know wherever you are, you have those resources for you. And we are here on the week of Labor Day, also the week of a very popular car show. So if you're not really wanting to get out into that traffic with your own vehicle, you can also ride the trolley, which is right here in front of the pool, which is kind of catty corner to the entrance of the resort. So we are headed into the pool. It's a little bit of an overcast day, but not too bad. So I think we've got the pool mostly to ourselves. So just to give you guys some reference, right through those doors is the um, bar that we ate at. Looks like there's some chairs out here. There's that fire pit over there. Have a little shallow end. We have, it looks like a hot tub and a water slide. So I think we're gonna take a dip and we'll take you with us. So it looks like this pool, the deepest it goes is about four foot, which is on the end with the slide. So Seth is going to go on the slide and film it for you guys. So we'll see him here at the bottom. This week's subscriber of the week is Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie, for watching and commenting on our last adventure. If you would like to be the subscriber of the week, check the comments to see how to enter. Also, don't forget to unwind by checking out the hot tub located right next to the pool. Next stop is the Lazy River, which is outside of the lower level. So here is the Lazy River. There are a couple of rules. For example, one rider per float, and you do have to have a float to enter the Lazy River. It's not quite open yet, so I don't think we're gonna get in it at the moment, but it does have some seating around as well as um, the Lazy River itself goes around this little median here. And it looks pretty relaxing. And I think here is where you would get your float, but again, not quite open yet. They do open at 10, but you would check in here and go in. And remember to bring your wristbands, guys, to get into the Lazy River. It is required. All right, guys, so part of our invitation to the Camp Margaritaville Resort is their grand opening party. So we just pick up our VIP lanyards. We can actually see the party space from our window. So that's where we'll be heading later. So we're getting ready for the party, the grand opening party. There's Butch and Sandra over there checking in. So we've got our drink tickets and our lanyards in hand. Looks like they've even set up like a still drone player over here to welcome everyone. And for the grand opening party, they've brought out some stilt walkers, which is awesome. And it looks like they have some lays. We'll see if we can get one. So guys, this is like the official pose for Margaritaville. Fins up. up. So, yep, do that with your poses and your selfies and post them and tag the Margaritaville. Well, thank you for the fins up. Thank you. Ready for this? got everything open. Thin City is open downstairs. If you haven't seen it, um, parents, watch your wallets because the kids are going to have so much fun down there. Um, there's so much fun down there. Um, so we'll do that afterwards. For now, we're going to talk to a few really important people. Okay, so first, I think that we've got Mayor Ware here, David Ware. Isn't it a great day to be in Pigeon Forge? Yeah. How many folks are camping here right now? Yes. Thank you guys for coming to Pigeon Forge. We love seeing visitors here. We love entertaining visitors here. 
You know, Pigeon Forge is built on hospitality. That's what we're known for, but it's set vacant for a long, long time. And it, this team, Darby Campbell, the Margaritaville guys, thank you so much for coming in. Um, Darby Campbell, CEO and founder, uh, chairman, there's all sorts of president of, of Safe Harbor Development. You know, it's a funny little fact that uh, Jimmy Buffett uh, still called Pigeon Forge Pigeon Fork. <laughs> <laughs> But I can tell you that this is the be number one spot for, in all of America for the Margaritaville brand. This is probably the first uh, ho uh, lodge RV resort in the country. So uh, the next person I'm gonna bring up is the one who made the brand, and that's John Colan, the CEO of Margaritaville. So, you know, Margaritaville is a, we like to say it's a state of mind, it's many things, but at the end of the day, if you have to distill it down to one word, Margaritaville is about fun. I'd, I'd like to take a moment for, is Andy here? Where's Andy? Andy, you and your team, can you just raise your hand so we can give you a big round of applause, a big thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I think it's time to cut the ribbon. One, One two, two, three. Okay, before we all go, we're gonna do a big toast and then we're gonna invite everybody to the party on the lawn. Let the yeah. It does look like Radio Margaritaville is going to be here tonight, potentially live, but that is a Sirius XM radio station for those of you that may not know. That's pretty cool. So we are down on the grand opening party. It looks like there is a cash bar. I think there may be some food later, but there's some tables and right back there, there's going to be a band set up. So we'll take you guys along with us as the party continues. <laughs> you said this is a fried green tomato? It's a pickled fried green tomato. Pickled fried green tomato. Green tomato. Awesome. With goat cheese and, and candy. So here's one of the hors d'oeuvres they're passing around. It's a pickled fried green tomato. Let's let Seth try it. How is it, Seth? Is it good? Oh, man. That's good. That's good. So there's more where that came from, I hope. <laughs> Sweet and spicy ribs. Go ahead and get one, sir. Absolutely. You want to welcome to get you some. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So now let's try some drinks. It looks like they have margaritas, mixed drinks, beer, things like that. We're going to trade in our tickets for the party and get some drinks. So now let's try out the ribs. The fried green tomato was good. I assume this one will be just as good. So next is a coconut shrimp with a mango chutney. I'm gonna also try this one and let Seth try it too, but it looks delicious. So we have a chicken sandwich, some pulled pork, some hot dogs, and a little s'mores dessert. Really excited to dig into these. This is awesome. So I know the party's going on right now, but we also wanted to mention the fire pit that's out here right next to the Lazy River. It is open normally, but unfortunately we just now noticed it, but just know that it is out here for you if you'd like to relax by the fire. So Butch was nice enough to get us some of these, you said Tennessee barbecue nachos? Tennessee barbecue pork nachos. Pork nachos to share here for the table. They are from the Finn's Bar and Chill right upstairs that we did try for the burgers and the pizza. And we've tried them so far and they are delicious. Right, Seth? It's an awesome combo. Yeah, they're really, the really good. So definitely try these out if you visit. So we are down here to check out. You can actually keep or discard your room keys. They don't actually need to turn them back in. And then you will get an itemized receipt sent to your email. All right, guys, so we wanted to wrap up our stay here at the Camp Margaritaville RV and uh, Resort Lodge. Mm -hmm. So um, we just finished up with the grand opening celebration, the party event that they did have, and it was awesome. They definitely went all out to kind of celebrate yeah. the completion of the resort itself with um, specifically some of those amenities that we showed you earlier that are still on the new side. So this place was definitely more than I expected. Um, I really expected it to be more of a focus on the RV portion mm -hmm. since that's what came first. Um, but they've really spared no expense, at least it seems to me, with the rooms and the entire experience offering the breakfast, the arcade, the um, billiard room, all yeah, of the different stuff. Yes, all, like, yes. Like you could spend a couple days here and not, not get, get bored. bored. It's, yes. it's like li literally like any full resort. Long yeah. resort. And that's regardless of if you're doing the RV or if you're staying at the lodge, yeah. you know, you have access to all of that. 
Um, so we really enjoyed it. I would definitely put this on my list of places to stay in Pigeon Forge if we, you know, when we visit again um, to look at maybe yeah, some I of would, the rates. I probably yeah, would. To definitely stay here. It's in a great location right on the main strip. So we were definitely pleasantly surprised. So it, it was great. We want to thank um, Margaritaville and um, the team here at Camp Margaritaville for inviting us out through the grand opening celebration. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate that. So be sure to check them out um, on our social media and everything. We put plenty of pictures and photos from the event on there as well. Um, also, don't forget to comment on this video. Let us know if you've ever stayed here before, if you plan on staying in the future. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pigeon Forge content mm -hmm. coming soon. So until next time, we, we hope, hope to see you on the next adventure. adventure. Bye.